Well, good morning and welcome back. I'm out here at COSI. This time I'm joined with Valerie. And there's a lot of fun stuff happening out here. What do we have going on? So today we're going to be working on milk fireworks. Now this is a great experiment that I love to do with kids, um, but it's also fun as an adult to see. We believe that science is everywhere and for everyone, and this is a great example of that because you can do this at any age and with all the things that we, you probably already have in your kitchen. So what we have here today is some milk. We're using whole milk today. We're also using dish soap. We have just some regular Q-tips, or you can use toothpicks, and some food coloring. So we're gonna start by filling the dish with the milk. Now we are using this milk at room temperature. This works a little bit better with fuller fat milk at room temperature. Now Liz, I'm gonna ask you to go ahead and take the food coloring and you're gonna put some drops of food coloring right in the middle. Perfect, does it matter if the colors are next to each other if I do multiples? You can do multiples, you can do it any way you like. Now you see that the, they're spreading out a little bit, but not a whole lot. So you've got some red, we're getting some yellow in there. And the more colors you use, the more interesting the results. We'll throw in one drop of green for good measure. That way we have all of them represented in here. Beautiful. Already really pretty. But you see that those aren't really going very far. They're kind of sitting stable. Mm -hmm. So let's do the next step where you're going to take a Q-tip and just dip it into the soap. You don't need a ton of soap, just a little bit. Okay. And then go ahead and stick that smack dab in the middle and hold it real still. Oh, I just and put it a drop see early. what happens. Isn't that cool? So that's why we call it milk fireworks. Now, if you hold it there, you're going to see it continuing to move. That's so pretty how it just spirals. What Isn't if I move it, it? So move it around and experiment a little bit. And you can see that it's continuing to move. So let's talk about what's happening here. So milk is made up largely just of water and fat. And when you have it in a dish, it's got a surface tension on the top where the molecules are kind of holding hands and just sticking together. But when you put the soap in the middle, it causes a break in the surface tension. And just like a broken rubber band, everything goes out to the sides. So the water content starts to move to the side. But the other thing that the soap does is it encapsulates those fat molecules and adheres them to the water that carries that with it. And so it hits the side, goes under, comes back to the soap, and continues to move in this circuit, in this current. And so that's what you're seeing by that explosion of colors. The food coloring is there just so that you can see those currents happening. That is so pretty. And I love that this is something that most people, like you mentioned, already have at their house. Most of us exactly. have milk and soap just sitting by. Exactly right. So it's a lot of fun to do. Like I said, you, you can have um, kids do this. Uh, I like to do it as an adult. I think it's a fun experiment. It really is. And I like that this is something that people can do at home, but you guys are still open. What else is going on over uh, at COSI if people come out? We've got a lot going on. So I'm really excited that we are actually going to be open on Martin Luther, Jun Martin Luther King Jr. Day. We're going to be open on President's Day. We've got a great exhibit about Tutankhamen coming in March, on March 18th, and tickets will go on sale for that pretty soon. Um, and of course, we have our pterosaurs exhibit going on right now. Oh, I like that. I like how even there's always a transition happening, exactly. even though we've gotten rid of Doc McSteffens for now. You have a few more fun things on deck. Exactly. And remember, if you want to check into the hours, some of those fun exhibits, you can always log on to COSI.org or to watch how to do this fun experiment again. Make sure that you have all the right ingredients. You can log on to our website, NBC4I.com. So, Valerie, thank you so much. Thank you.